Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes
jurors will have to determine for themselves. But about the relatively confident, if Israel should choose to retaliate for this Iraqi attack against them, uh, I believe the coalition will hold together. Both Egypt and Saudi Arabia have previously indicated that they would understand no, no, if Israel responded to well, an Iraqi attack well, against yeah, them. I believe that right. both King Fahad of Saudi Arabia she didn't like all that and Egypt stuff. Yeah. understand very well that it is Iraq that they that they is Israel. That if we leave the thing alone, then they will get knocked out by his own men. And he most likely will have to do it. Saddam, He's now surrounded by the And so now being reloaded into slow clothes for six to eight hours with liquid fuel and perhaps moved and then reloaded and liable to launch another lot of missiles. At that point, they uh, said the Israelis in the case of having their sure, best you effort at look at finding them. Well, that's um, a piece healed. of diplomacy well, could be a great help. Jordan has U.S. built uh, Hawk missiles supplied for King Hussein of Jordan is supposed to be the great uh, and good friend of President Bush and so on. This may be the time uh, to make phone calls in order to facilitate passage because although the Israelis, as we all know from the map, can fly around Jordan, that means losing range and therefore losing the ability to fly and search hard enough to do anyway. But I think that if the Shimron statement uh, is what it appears to be, it means that they have decided that they cannot in fact rely no uh, on other people, people to, to, to take out these launches, which are of course very isolated from all other targets in Iraq. George Webb, your, your response to the Shimron statement. A two sentence answer, Ted. Any nation has a right to self-defense. Israel, a national gathering of the Jewish people born out of the Holocaust, has a peculiar integ uh, integrity and a peculiar imperative to look after its own self-defense. George Will, Ed Lepak, and Congressman Steve Silva. So if you'd be good enough to stand by, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll be going live to Israel. Back in a moment. All right. All right. The ABC News coverage of the Gulf War will continue after these messages.